Yeah, good evening everyone. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Hello Malade. Good evening. Okay, so let's start. So this is the seventh week discussion. And this is the second last week discussion and after this there will be only one class next week next friday so this is a course of solar photovoltaics principal technology and materials which is being taught by professor ashish gar from iit kanpur and i am ravi kumar from iit bombay pmrf research scholar here so let's start what we have done in the last class so we have seen different types of types of our generation we can say different generation of solar cells and we have seen the performance parameter of a solar cell performance parameter like p mpp power at maximum power point voltage at open circuit current at short circuit and fill factor and efficiency and other than that different types yes okay so in the today's class what we will do we will understand different processes related to mostly generation one and some related to generation two generation one means gen one silicon it is like mono and multi both multi or poly <coughs> So we have seen the solar cell parameters and monosilicon, polycrystalline silicon, what we have, what those are, we have seen there. So before starting, I just want to ask one question. What are the physical components of a solar cell? How a solar cell is being, not designed, it's being developed or manufacture how we manufacture a solar cell let's talk about P uh, yes yes silicon. yeah first liquid silicon 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 and carbon electric silicon yes Silicon in the form of wafer, right? Wafer, silicon wafers. Yeah. Yes. After this, uh, sewing done. Sorry, I'm not following. Sir, uh, sewing, sir. Wafer sewing, packing. Wafer breaking. Sir, cutting, sir. Cutting, cutting. It's already yes. wafer, no? Wafer is the cutted form only. Okay. First, we have ingots. From ingots, we ingots. got this wafer. So, wafer is only, you know, already is a, like it's already been cut. Uh, like the that, surface texturing. Surface texturing. Before surface uh, texturing, from where you will get the PN junction? 
ओके सर देन पीओसीएल पीओसीएल टू डिपोजिशन गैस डिपोजिशन और वी कैन से पीएन जंक्शन फॉर्मेशन देन नाउ वी हैव सिलिकन इन द टाइप्स ऑफ पीएन जंक्शन लाइक इट्स पी टाइप एंड इट्स एन टाइप आफ्टर दैट so this is our solar cell silicon pn junction arc coating and screen printed coat so these are the things so what how we manufacture this silicon we will talk a bit about that yes yes so how silicon is being manufactured do you have any idea have you seen any video related to this manufacturing of silicon no okay so it's like preparing silicon grade metallurgical grade silicon then semiconductor grade silicon like yes. polysilicon and then again a single crystal yes then semiconductor then our like we can say in rods or polysilicon or monosilicon okay we will see all these things so first we have metallurgical grade silicon so like we have silicon in the form of minerals so from all the minerals are in the form of oxides do you know the majority of the minerals or elements are in the form of oxides so in the case of metallurgical grade silicon to get this metallurgical grade silicon what we will do we will reduce it we will do melting and we will do refining so after these things we will get metallurgical grade silicon it is not much pure it's we can say it's impure silicon next we do semiconductor grade grade silicon so here what we do we do just more refining we can say deposit deposition or different things we will see in the video how we do it how we get this semiconductor grade silicon so generally what we do we have a bar like this and silicon in the form of vapor it will go attracted to here it will deposit on this bar so it will be more pure form so this is the method by which we get semiconductor grade silicon and after that we have single crystal silicon we can say mono crystalline silicon so that we get more purification like melting and solidification so these are the processes how we get silicon manufactured so first i'll show you some processes in this in the form of pictures and then we will see a video 
Yes. So it's like this is a mineral and what we are doing, we are just heating or melting it and after heating and melting, we are getting an impure silicon. Then later, we are, it's just melting, then later we are doing deposition and all, then we are getting more pure silicon and after that we are doing more processes and then we get ingots. It's like single crystal and for, for this multi crystalline we just crystallize is in the form of like we take a vessel like this and we just pure the silicon in the liquid form and it solidified. So just by solidification we get this multi crystalline silicon but here the process is different for mono crystalline silicon and if we just cut the wafers from here we get monocrystalline silicon cells wafer and if we cut this rectangular box we get polycrystalline or multicrystalline silicon wafers so let me play this video this is like i'll play some part of that video you can watch it later it's like around 20 12 to 13 minutes video. I'll show you only animations like see these are the like directly obtained parts of that mineral rock and we are hitting it it's using like it's an electrode and we are hitting all these things and then after melting we are getting silicon in the form of some complexes it's being solidified so it's saying it's the purity of this metallurgic silicon is around 98 to 99 percent. Then we will move to the towards the more purity form. So like this is the metallurgical silicon it's shown being here and then we will get polycrystalline silicon so how will we will get this polycrystalline you can see it's magnesium silicon complex and here we are giving hcl and then we are getting silicon hcl3 like HCl is a catalyst here. It's being no, it's not. It's it's reactant only. Sorry. So it is making a complex with HCl three. One silicon atom and three chlorine atoms and one hydrogen. It's trichloroxylene. Then we will do distillation. So here vaporization or like it will be deposited on this road.
silicon atoms are deposited on the road. And while HCl3, like H is converting into gas and also HCl, Cl is also a gas. Sir, why hydrogen atom will not diffuse into the silicon? It will not diffuse because it's difference in the properties. We can say like uh, it's melting point and all. There are different properties also. This is a road having, I think, some kind of charge. That's why silicons are being attracted, not the hydrogen. Okay. Yeah, it's like there may, there may be many possibilities, but which one is more preferred? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thermodynamically and chemically, we can say. Now we have silicon and like chlorine is out, chlorine and hydrogen are out, then we are left with only silicon. Now we will make a silicon ingot. See the temperature of this is 15,000 Celsius, sorry 1500 degrees Celsius, 1500 degrees Celsius is much more, water boils at 100 degrees Celsius, then you can think it's 15 times of that temperature. And all these processes are very energy intensive processes. It's a rotating shaft and it's rot rotating. Then you can see the orientation of atoms because what is this monocrystalline? Monocrystalline means the orientation of atoms are arranged in a particular order. So it's like 100 or 111 orientation. So you can see all the atoms are aligned in a particular order. So now we go then in goat. This is more purification of in goats, you can say. So this in goats is highly arranged. So we can say it's monocrystalline silicon. And other than that, if we just this is the process of making polycrystalline or multicrystalline, you can see. We have a vessel and we have like highly pure form of silicon and they are being heated. And this is the way. Huh. Now we will see how we get the vapor.
So these are the wires and this is the ingots. And they are like at regular interval we can say equally spaced wires. So they are cutting the ingots and they are getting so we are getting many wafers at once. And now it's just a policing step. It's another process. Yeah, that's it. So these are the processes. We can say like from this mineral, then we heat it, we get metallurgical silicon then more processing we get and polycrystalline silicon then using ingots we get this single crystalline silicon and just melting it in the form of a cube cuboidal or like we can say another form of vessel then we get polycrystalline silicon and that's why monocrystalline silicon is expensive as compared to polycrystalline silicon because it have one more further step getting an ingots yes let me see here So we have seen this process, now we will move to the next part of this class. Okay, some questions. So in this week we just have different processes related to crystalline silicon and some thin film technology. And before that we have already covered the parameters, different how a solar cell works and all. So this week and next week are only, only related to the manufacturing of these silicon cells or thin film cells. So first question is related to the generation of solar cell. It says which of the following belong to the second generation solar cell technology and these are the options. B and D. B and D. A. A. Are you saying B and D? A also? So this is single crystalline and this is polycrystalline. So they are related to crystalline silicon and which is related to first generation and amorphous and cadmium are related to thin film technology and they are related to second generation and what is third generation Sir, like organic, organic. Oh, uh, yeah, guys uh, Dyson's mm -hmm. or we can say DSSC. Mm -hmm. Yes. So answer is B and D. So let's move to the next question, which says the POCL3 treatment in silicon solar cell is done to achieve. Why POCL3 treatment is being done? And these are the options. In in doping of uh, emitter. And B. B of the emitter B. Here P is what? Phosphorus. Yes. Phosphorus is trivalent or pentavalent? Pentavalent. Yes. Pentavalent. Pentavalence. 
having extra electron which will contribute to n type semiconductor and this is the process here we are making this n type silicon using this POCl3 phosphorus diffusion so yes answer is B so next question says type of silicon exhibiting the lower lowest carrier mobility which type of silicon exhibit lower carrier mobility among these options are amorphous silicon single crystalline silicon polycrystalline silicon or both single crystalline and polycrystalline sir a amorphous silicon okay amorphous silicon okay so do you guess or do you think what do you think why this carrier mobility is very low in amorphous silicon do you have any idea why the carrier mobility in amorphous silicon is lowest okay just talk about the thing in the crystalline silicon all the atoms are arranged right yes. so if you are moving like just guess this is a place and every person is standing in line and you need to pass it from here to here and another situation is like that randomly people are here and there so through which A or B you will be move fast first process first yes so same thing is here for the silicon solar cell we can say these are the crystalline and these are amorphous no no particular order or we can say random arrangement of atoms so that's why the carrier mobility is less here so answer is a sir can we relate it to as amorphous can we have very high disorder and uh, as well as can we consider as more number of defects present yes, the yes, combination yes. occurs definitely we can even amorphous is having number of more dangling bones yes and which also reduces the efficiency of solar cell oh, okay. okay let's move to the next question which says which of the following is the correct sequence of manufacturing of silicon single crystal it's like single silicon crystal and these are the options correct sequence you need to identify the correct sequence just what you have seen in the video based on that just focus option c option c okay so i'll go you are saying c it's okay option a sir option a now we will see semiconductor grade silicon is first process no so option b and option d are not right so we will go one by one from a and c so it's say metallurgical silicon yes metallurgical silicon yes it is saying semiconductor grade silicon or it is saying purification it needs more purification right to obtain okay, semiconductor grade silicon. Purification. yes then it is saying melting and solidification it is also showing melting solidification and single crystal single crystal so which is more appropriate a or c c c 
because it is, yes, it is clearly saying we need more purification to obtain the semiconductor. Oxidized reduction done due to the defects. Yeah. Remove the defects. And option C is the correct answer. Let's move to the next question, which says the starting material in the manufacturing of semiconductor grade silicon. You have seen in the video, I posed at that particular point of time and I like called the name of that particular complex. Okay, trichloroquine. Trichloroquine. Yes. That's a D, sir. SIHCl4. Yes. D, HCl3. HCl4. Sorry, CH, 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 CL3. CH3. Yeah, okay. uh, 3 chlorine ion, 1 hydrogen or C. Yes, yes. Even from the lecture only, you can see it's trichloroxylicate. Option D is the correct answer. Okay. Next question. Which of the following can be used as a window layer in gallium arsenide solutions? So just first tell me what is the meaning of window layer or what is the purpose of this window layer? So the window layer charge move towards the uh, contacts very easy by any specific this for window layer SIO frame window layer is used for okay what we are what we want to reduce what is the particular thing in a solar cell which we want to minimize concentration recombination recombination so it do the same thing it prevent recombinations so these are the options which among them can be used as a window layer? A and B. A and C. In gas. No, sir. Uh, in gas and L gas. B and D. B and D. And both. B and D. C. This is the structure. And this is our window layer, this particular. Sir, why there is no window layer in the other contact site? Where? Yeah. In the end region? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you. So, this is the surface. If we, if we don't have any window layer here, so what will happen? there will be some dangling bones dangling bones means like this is silicon and there are nothing is there this side is empty so those charge carriers like electron here which are moving on the surface of solar cell to go to this metal contact it will be attracted by this silicon so that's why on the surface side like when our material is exposed to the surface there we need to prevent recombinations and in the other side you can say already there is a layer complete layer but here it is no layer arc is different thing we are using for to minimize the reflection From the end reason, there are complete contacts there and the light is not coming from that area. Yes. 
so in the p region light is also coming from that area so we are putting window layer in that side see to increase the to decrease the recombination yes and yes it's like we are preventing exposed to the surface if our charge carriers are on the surface like they are flowing we are not having any kind of material here so that these electrons can go this side yes we are preventing that thing and that is like a recombination Yes. So, okay, yes, B and D are the right answer. We can say it's like ELGS here, and another type we use this ENGAS. Okay, next question says intermixing. What we are intermixing? CDS and CDTE layer in CD cadmium telluride solar cell leads to these are the options. If we are mixing CDS and CDT, then what will happen? The option C, sir. Decrease in efficiency at lower wavelength. Okay. Why? Maybe if CDS has higher band gap than CDT, and after mixing, the band gap will increase. And that's that will lead to decrease in quantum efficiency. It's like this structure is like CDS, and then we have. C D T E. See, if light is coming here, and this is the first layer, and this is the second layer, then let me know which type of wavelength, shorter or longer, will be absorbed in upper part and will absorb in lower part. Upper part will have shorter, uh, shorter, lower part uh, longer, uh, and it will be longer wavelength. Okay, so it's saying if CDS CDT is mixing, if CDS plus CDT will mix, then it will consume CDS. So our CDS layer will be. Gone. It will go away. It will be consumed, and some another material will be formed. So to prevent, sorry. So due to this decreasing in the CDS layer, what will happen? Our shorter wavelength absorption will be decrease. Yes. So what is the meaning of consumption of CDS layer? Consumption forming other layer. Yes, I am saying. CDS plus CDT will make a complex. See, I'll show you. Yes, CDS CDT will intermix and they will form this com particular complex. It's like CDT S. And it will what we, what if we are if CDS and CDT are making a complex, then CDS is working as a reactant, and if reactant is converted to product, 
so this reactant will decrease if product need to increase yes so same thing is happening here this cds is being decreased and uh, this complex is being increased and due to decrease in this cds layer our efficiency at the lower wavelength side is being decreased and that's why the decrease in quantum efficiency at lower wavelength is the correct answer i hope you got it Yes, August. Yes. So next question it says, why amorphous silicon solar cell result in decrease in efficiency? Or in another way, we can say, what is the issue with amorphous silicon solar cells? And these are the options. Yes, tell me. Sir, what is LID, PID, LED? Okay. They are my research topic. It's like light induced degradation, potential uh, induced degradation. Light induced degradation. Okay. Yeah. Option A due to LID. So, what is this LID? So, Three please options. explain a bit because I don't know anything about this. Yes, yes. See what happens if this is a solar cell and this is first exposed to sunlight then due to this what will happen our efficiency will grow and this is the time time when exposed to sunlight so what's happening here when light is falling on the surface, the efficiency of this silicon solar cell, oh sorry, amorphous, silicon, amorphous solar cell is being decreased. Then what is the reason? So I told you in amorphous silicon, they are more dangling bones. And these dangling bones are being prevented from recombinations by mixing hydrogen by mixing hydrogen and due to the sunlight or under sunlight this hydrogen exposure we can say convert to H2 a gas and if dangling bones are here like silicon and it's like dangling bone here we have some silicon 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 and there is no atom here it was hydrogen and same here silicon 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 hydrogen silicon and if these two hydrogens are being removed like being in H2 so this these sides will be empty and if these sides are empty these sides will work as a recombination centers means the recombination of charge carriers will increase which will reduce or which will result in reduction in the efficiency of solar cell you got it yes sir so I think that's it for today. We don't have much questions. Okay, one more question. Sorry. Choose the correct here. 
these are the options crystalline silicon solar cell width is more width and it's like it is not width it's like if this is a solar cell width and length are here we can say depth or we can say this depth of solar cell so this is more for crystalline then thin film or it is more for thin film than crystalline or both have same or none of the above. Hello? Yes. Sir. Yes. 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 Is talking on a phone call, sorry. It's like thickness, thickness. Thickness of crystalline is more than thin film, or thickness of thin film is more than crystalline, or both have same thickness. Okay, I'll tell you. See, these are thin film. So, these three are thin film, and this is our crystalline. Here you can say the thickness is 0.1 to 1 micrometer, and here thickness is 100 micrometer. And see the current generation. Here it is 40 milli ampere per centimeter square and it is 35 to 40 milli ampere per meter square. But the material is being here is 100 times. So first the answer will be crystalline silicon solar cell thickness is more than synthetic film. Yes, A is the answer. And second yes, thing, I can ask you, if you don't know, then find out, I won't tell you the answer. If we are, if only a small amount of material of thin film solar cell are able to generate that much current, then today why we are moving towards more crystalline silicon solar cell than the thin film. You got the question? Okay, sir. yes. We have more efficiency in a thin film, but still we are moving towards crystalline solution. Efficiency is more, voltage is more, and material use is less. But then why we are moving towards this crystalline solution? This is the question. Find out, do some research, and then we will discuss in the next class. I think this is the last question for today. And yes, we are done with the today's lecture. If you have any question, you can ask. Can yeah, ask, sir. sir. Yes. Uh, sir, uh, yes. sir. Assignment number five. I told you, sir. Two questions are wrong. You tell me. Yes, I told you to write that. them. Email. Did you? I already, I wrote email, sir, but still not uh, answer. Okay, then today I'll write to the professor. Then he will see. Professor? Yes, sir. sir and uh, one uh, one thing, sir. Can, I, can you do one thing? Can you just forward that email to me? Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. I do you have my email? Send you this. Okay, in slide I got. 
Wait a minute. I'll write Sir, in the chat box, you just write to me. Yes, yes. Even I can write here also. R A V I K R at the rate I I T B dot A C dot A. It's R A V I K R at the rate I T B. Okay, sir. Sir. Yes. I will I will forward this email to you, sir. Yes. Okay, sir. And sir, uh, one thing, sir, in uh, uh, yes, assignment seven also one question I think um, answer. Which one? I tell you the question, sir. I just uh, tell you, sir, which one? Sir, question number three, sir. What assignment seven. What it say? Sir, uh, the which of the following processes are used for manufacturing semiconductor grade silicon? Okay, I think that's okay. Three or four are the correct answer. Like, three. Yeah. Sir, sir, three, three. But sir, in SAS lecture, uh, sir is uh, note down three. One is the uh, Siemens process, ethyl something process, or uh, another is the uh, union carbide process. Okay, I I select the three as per SAS lecture. But still, uh, in uh, answer there is only two and it has one mark. Okay, you just do one thing, add that question also in the email. Yes. And write correspondence like which question from which assignment. Okay, okay, sorry. You just forward it to me, I'll I'll put it, it towards the like in the front of professor. Okay, sir. Okay. Sir, uh, next uh, next Friday your last class. Yes. For example. Yes, yes. Sunday's exam. Okay, good luck then. Yes, sir. In which year? Sir, yes, sir. All okay. questions are based on the assignments and lectures. Huh? Do you have more questions or what do you are saying? No, the final exam questions are uh, objective types. Yeah, yeah, I, they go. I, Personally, I don't have any idea, but I think okay. that should be objective only. Yes. Yes, someone is asking something. Yes, sir. Is sir uh, in which year, year of PhD are you, sir? And what uh, are your fields, sir? Like, I am in third year PhD and I am working in the field of photovoltaic only towards the reliability issue of photovoltaic solar cells. Majorly on crystalline silicon sol solar cell. Okay. Yeah. So you guys are like, what you are doing? I am um, working at uh, LNT. LNT, great. I took. And Abhijit, you? Yes, sir. Abhinit. Abhinit, um, sorry. Yeah, it's Abhinit. <laughs> I just <laughs> focus on this N W E T. Yeah, it's okay, sir. Uh, I'm doing M Tech from IIT Madras in first year now. Okay. So, which department? Uh, metallurgy. Metallurgy. Okay, great. Yes. Okay, I have also sent you a request on LinkedIn. <laughs> I think I accepted, right? Uh, maybe I, I haven't seen that. Okay. I, yeah, I I usually accept all the requests. So <laughs> if I have opened the LinkedIn, then I have accepted. Okay, sir. Yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Okay. Keep. Nice. Thank you.